Hello YouTube family, Tom aka Patrick here today with Mercy. We have an exciting joint Dollar Tree haul. Mercy will be doing the majority of this haul. The reason being is we have so many school supplies. Oh my gosh. And really quick, I wanted to add one thing. I am wearing this shirt today because from the movie The Godfather, maybe my favorite movie of all time, James Caan, one of the stars of the movie who played Sonny, passed away yesterday. Rest in peace, James Caan. Guys, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, leave a comment, we answer them all. Without further ado, let's begin. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> I have a very special announcement to make. I wanna give a huge shout out to Chris. Chris, um, she spotted us yesterday at Dollar Tree. She spotted my mom and I at Dollar Tree yesterday. Uh, Chris, you were the first person to ever spot us out in public. Um, thank you so, so much. It was such a pleasure talking to you. Um, you know a lot about the Dollar Tree and a lot about um, all the Dollar Trees in the Twin Cities area. Um, so yeah, if I was a little bit quiet yesterday, that's because like I was in awe uh, that you recognized me and just was talking about the channel and stuff. So thank you so, so much. Uh, also, uh, I know that you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Please do. Please, please, please do. You got this. Um, I'm sending out all the encouragement to you. I think you're going to do amazing. Uh, I heard your uh, YouTube channel name as well, which I'm going to keep a surprise. But um, I, I think you can do this, Chris. I believe in you. Um, so, yeah. Chris. I am sorry I wasn't there to meet you as well. I was watching our son and Mercy was shopping with her mom at the Dollar Tree yesterday. Normally it would be Mercy and I and sometimes she goes with her mom, but I wish I could have met you and maybe we will again. So take it away. All right, so the first two items I wanna to show today are in honor of Chris uh, because Chris, yesterday I saw you had these two items uh, and I checked them out myself. I thought they were really neat. So I'm gonna show you guys them today So the first thing we have here is this under eye jade roller now Dollar Tree has sold like jade rollers in the past for like your face But this time it's a small one for like underneath your eyes Which I think is such a clever idea because you know when you wake up in the morning, you know You have like sleepy eyes, you know, you're like puffy and stuff. So Maybe you can like put this in the fridge overnight and then in the morning you can take it out, put it underneath your eyes, you're all refreshed for the day. Um, so yeah, that is such a clever little thing. I'm, I'll definitely be trying this out. Um, and then the other thing, Chris, I saw you had was this. It's this body wash in a sponge. I also think this is like a really clever idea, you know, because it's less waste having to buy like an entire bottle of body wash and then having to like throw it out. You literally just have it in a sponge. You know, it's a four in one. It has argan oil, seaweed, and caffeine. It's in the scent Peony Blossom. Uh, it's a four in one and it has 12 plus uses. I think this is so clever. Once again, I will be trying this out myself. So if you see this, please get it. It's an amazing deal. All right, so that's it for all of Chris's items. Next up, I have just a few more items before we dive into all these school supplies for today. Uh, first of all, in the, like, the bath section, uh, we picked up these. So we have these little shower travel kits. Uh, we saw them in the colors mint green and blue. Uh, so basically, it's just, like, a little kit, you know, they come with, like, two little empty bottles, a uh, loofah, like, a little, like, container to put some stuff in, like, other little containers. Um, there's five pieces in total. And it comes in like this really nice like zip up bag as well so you can like open it up take everything out um so yeah if you're traveling at all please uh pick this up it's very nice um and then i saw this in the hair care like or like hair accessory section because apparently also during like the school supplies time i guess they also come out with like new hair products uh, I saw this. This really caught my eye. It's this claw clip. Claw clips are very, like, trendy 
these days. Lots of girls wear them in their hair. And I thought that this one was really interesting because it kind of looked like cookies and cream. Just kind of, you know, with the black splatters and the mm -hmm. white little claw clip thing. So yeah, opens up very, very nice. So I'll definitely be wearing this in my hair, maybe in a future video, who knows. Uh, and then that's it for like all the beauty stuff. And then I just have one quick little thing from the craft section. Uh, it's this, it's this four piece crafter square wood carving set. I mean, so cool. I didn't even know they could sell like wood carving sets at Dollar Tree, but they do. So, uh, if you're thinking about starting a hobby in like wood cutting or wood carving, or you're like a professional at it or whatever, uh, please pick up these tools. This is a very, very nice set. On the back, it has some information about the different like little blades and different tools that you get, which is a very handy guide, especially for beginners. Who knows, I might try out wood carving. Uh, it sounds pretty fun. So yeah. Awesome. All right, now for the big part, it's school supplies. You guys know I literally geek out all the time for like stationary school supplies you know, that kind of category. So this is very exciting for me. First of all, uh, I just want to say Dollar Tree, they really stepped up their game this year in like their school supplies with like their different prints and their different colors. Um, so yeah, first of all, we have these little like binders or like you can like fold them and stuff. Um, but yeah, look at these designs, you guys. So we've got this one with like dinosaurs, which is awesome. Uh, they have this one with like these little smiley faces and confetti. That's so adorable. Um, and then they have this one, which is my personal favorite, strawberries. That's so cool. Uh, also these can actually hold a lot because they're flexible. They can hold quite a lot. So in here, I've already put in some, uh, sheets of paper. There's actually 200 in here. So that is a lot. Wow. They have other prints and, and stuff too, but those are just the, the ones that I personally got. Um, and then speaking of binders, you know, Dollar Tree, they have their same old, same old little binders that they sell every year. Uh, it's just a little simple gray one inch one that I want to have. Um, I mean, I've already started organizing for school supplies. Um, yeah, but opens up very nicely. And then in here I have some like little binder tabs I also got from Dollar Tree. They're from the brand Avery and I just kind of like put my class names on there. So, so cool. yeah, but the, this like gray binder is actually very sturdy. It's very nice. It's going to hold a lot of papers. So very excited about that. Uh, and then also Dollar Tree actually has like some really cool backpacks this year. You know, they're little small backpacks, so not really necessarily I'd say for school, but maybe for like travel backpacks, they would be very nice for that. Uh, so we have this backpack right here that I picked up. It's once again, this gray one with the dinosaurs. They have like a lot of like matching prints and colors this year, which I think is so awesome. If you want to have like a little theme. Uh, so yeah, this one has dinosaurs in it or on it. Um, uh, it has two pockets, one on the front. So you can just like put stuff Whoa. in. It's actually a lot of space in this front one. Nice. And then it has this big one in the back, which once again could hold a lot of stuff. You know, it's got these nice little um, things that you can like put on your shoulders. I don't know what they're called, but uh, yeah, there we go. A little backpack. Just quickly, I just wanted to add really quick, we may give this one to our son. Um, this one really seems, it, Mercy picked it out. This one I feel like it really, he likes dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. It's a nice size for him. So this one may end up being his. I just want yes. to throw it in super quick. Okay, and then next up we have some pencil pouches. So uh, also uh, the stuff in the pencil pouches is not included. I just already put stuff in here mm -hmm. just to show you guys what you can fit. Uh, so yeah, we have this pencil pouch first of all. I got this in the color purple, which is like obviously my favorite color. Uh, they have other colors too, such as pink, teal, etc. Like I said, they have a matching theme this year and they have a lot of pretty colors this year. Uh, so of course I could pick up the lilac one, which what really stood out to me was this one had two separate pockets instead of one. So in this front pocket, you see I have like some pens, a compass, a razor, some lead, uh, and this can actually hold a lot. 
if you ever see pencil pouches in Dollar Tree, make sure you try out, like um, unzip it to see if it has a lot of space. If it has a lot of space, please get it. It's amazing. These pencil pouches usually last a long time. And then on the inside here, we have this really big pocket where I just have some other little random stuff in there. Uh, so yeah, what I also really like is it has these holes here um, to put in your binder and stuff so you don't have to carry it around always, which I think is very nice. So yeah. What a great find. Yes. A new pencil pouch that they have this year is this one. Like I said, not all this stuff is included. I just wanted to show you what you could fit in here. Um, this one is my personal favorite. It says stuff. I mean, pretty self-explanatory stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's in the color pink. And they have some other ones that are like blue, purple, etc. They have like different words, not just stuff. But I like stuff the best. Uh, and if you open it up, it's like, it's like in this really nice, like, kind of jelly container, kind of see-through. Look at the space it holds. That Ooh. holds a lot. I mean, I have a calculator in here, earbuds, post-it notes, markers, uh, highlighters, and stuff like that. You can just hold a lot of stuff. This would also be, like, a really nice, like, makeup bag, in my opinion. I think that's a pretty decent size for that. Or just like whatever, craft supplies, stationery, et cetera, et cetera. So please pick these up. They hold a lot. Uh, so yeah, they're also very nice in quality. Smooth. And then the last, the last pencil pouch we have there here is just this little small one in case you don't want to hold a lot of stuff. Uh, but look at the design. It's so pretty. It's just like this purple one. Um, has like these little rainbows on it, which I think is just so adorable. Um, and when you open it up on the inside, it contains like this little like cardboard thing, but if you take that out, um, uh, yeah, you can just open it up, you know, hold a few things in there, maybe like a few pencils or erasers. Like I said, if you don't want to carry around a lot of stuff, this would be super duper nice for that. So yeah, also in a very nice, um, quality little material that's made out of. Possibly glasses might fit in here. Yes, that'd be a very nice glasses bag. Just nice ones for this. Yes, or like sunglasses too. Yes. Uh, okay, next up we have some magnets. So we have this little set of magnetic bookmarks. But look at these. These are just so adorable. So we got one with a flower with a smiley face on it, a peach, strawberry, and a rainbow, which is... Of course, fitting the theme that Dollar Tree has this year. These are like the main like prints that they have in their school supplies. Uh, so yeah, these are just super adorable. You know, they can just stick it in like a bookmark. Um, you can put these on your fridge, your locker, whatever. Just kind of uh, jazz up your space, which I really like. And then they also have this six pack of magnets right here. It's in that like strawberry theme. Just like that one binder that I showed you earlier, which I think is really nice. Um, the two of them say be kind. Um, two of them have like these strawberries and two have like these like just dots. Uh, once again, you can like use these maybe for like a dry erase board to like maybe uh, like put up some like notes or whatever. Uh, you can also put these in your locker. You can do a whole variety of things with magnets. So there we go. All right, uh, another thing that you can possibly put in your locker or your office space or whatever is this. This is a book bin. This is in the, kind of like the like the teacher section. Um, this is also great for teachers because you can put in like your planners or like just books or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about putting in like some uh, notebooks in here. I think that'll be very nice for decoration for my locker this year. So yeah, it's in this nice hot pink color. They come with a whole different uh, variety of colors too. Some of them are solid, some of them have patterns. Uh, just kind of all is up to you. So yeah, I just got this simple little pink one. Yes, uh, also Dollar Tree this year, they're selling uh, actual post-it notes, not just like their brand of post-it notes, but they're actually selling like regular post-it notes. Uh, so yeah, I picked up these two individual packs of post-it notes. What I really like about these is that these are the super stickies. So 
they like hold on longer which is always nice uh these are three by three there's 90 post-it notes in each pack so i got one in red which is kind of like an interesting color and then we also have it in uh this like lime green which is always very very nice post-it notes they're a must writing down notes etc i love them uh yeah Next up, we have these Ticonderoga Renew Pencils. These are very, um, they're not like your regular Ticonderoga pencils. They're made out of 53% recycled wood, which, yes, we love, like, recycling, the environment, all that. Uh, so, yeah, these are, of course, the Ticonderoga pencils, which are by far one of the best pencils out there, or at least one of the best, like, number two pencils. Very nice, they have nice lead, a nice eraser, a nice grip. Um, so yes, definitely love those. Awesome. And then these are kind of cute. These are these letter board notes, quotes for every day. We picked up two of these. This is by the brand Crown Jewels. Uh, so we have this one in pink and this one in like brown um so let me just open one of these up just to kind of show you guys like what's in here um so yeah so it's kind of what it looks like it's on like this backing and then just kind of has like some little inspirational messages for you like the first one says bloom where you are planted and you can just kind of you know flip through these every day just to kind of get like a different little um inspirational message which i really like always puts a pep in your step and then this other one too you know just kind of um i don't know if it has the same messages or no i don't think it does uh but yeah this one in the front says happiness never goes out of style very true uh so yeah just kind of some more little notes and then there's like different backgrounds for each one too which i think is nice um so there you go and then the last few things we have in here are markers. So we have these three markers, which look very interesting. These are uh, poster markers. So these are very big markers in case you're having like a poster for maybe like a school project or whatever. Um, these are always very nice. They're double sided. They have a chisel tip and a fine point tip. <clears throat> so we, we got them in the colors teal pink and purple nice very very nice once again they're very big so they're great for posters really just like standing out um and then last but not least we have this six pack here of these centicorns scented markers i mean what what's better than scented mm -hmm. markers am i right uh they're markers but scented obviously and scented markers just you know they make you make your notes better i feel like because then you can just like sniff them you know and all that uh yeah they are double-sided so it's three separate markers but they're just kind of like double-sided um it doesn't really say the scents on here uh but i think you can probably figure them out but there you go and the back it kind of has like the different like little scented corns i guess so there you go Wow. All right, that's it for me. And now, Patrick. Okay, that was amazing. What a huge haul of dollar of, of school supply things that yes. you guys found. I am in awe of everything that Mercy just that just showed. That is a lot of stuff for way cheaper than you could get at the at the popular, you know, the other stores. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we will get some school supplies at Target, Walmart, yeah. and the usual. But that's that's a good start, Mercy. That is. Wow. Okay, I actually don't have that many items until our taste test, but I have a few. So just really quick, I wanted to show. So now, it looks like the Dollar Tree, at least the ones around us, have kind of switched brands from the Lingettes to All Clear. And we have not tried this, you know, electronic wipes. So we have not tried the All Clear electronic wipes yet. We are looking forward to it. You get 30. They are 7 inches by 6 inches, and we're very much looking forward to it and once we try them we will let you know
how those worked. So we found those. Then this is cute. We had this, we bought this a couple years ago, but we saw it again and we just thought it was funny. Free hugs from a cactus. So any of you who want a nice big hug from a cactus, have at it. But we just thought that was so cute and so funny. So we picked that up. We just we just love their signs. They're just, they're just the best. Then we found these. Now these are obviously, as it says here, these are the microfiber washcloths, just the nice plain white ones. Now, you know, you can use these obviously for washcloths. They're a square, 11 inches by 11 inches. But we think we're gonna use them just for cleaning because it does have, you know, a little bit of the rough, you know, it's not, it's not like the over the top soft. So we like them, but we probably will use them um, for cleaning. But we picked three of those up. We just thought those were, those were nice. So we got those in the white. Then we got this for our son. He's gonna love this. He's gonna love this unbelievable Transformers Squeezling for a buck twenty-five. I mean, to get any toy for a dollar twenty-five. So it's kind of a blind, you know, a blind um, bag kind of thing. So you don't know which one you're gonna get. And of course, you can collect them all. But we just thought that was fun to find that in a in a Dollar Tree. So we'll have him open that up, and he will be excited. Transformers, Squeezling, collect them all. So we found that. Then we found just these nice um, lavender and coconut scented hand sanitizer sprays. So we found one of each. You know, and you get um, just two ounces, but those are very pleasing scents and you can never have too much of that. So we picked those up. And then we just love these. We love the Sure Fresh. I mean, we just, you know, we have a lot of soup around here, especially in the winter time. But, you know, you can you can put so many things in here. Obviously, you could put almost anything in here. Chili, soup, you know, anything. So the dimensions here are, fits 2.94 cups. And obviously, when you microwave it, make sure that you pop the ventilator top here. But we love this salmon color. We actually picked up I think four of them, four or five. So we were very excited to get this salmon, sure fresh soup mug. So we picked that up. And then not the most exciting item in the world, but we can always use more of these. Just the simple storage sandwich bags. We got 45, you know, just from kind of the sure fresh brand. And, um, you know, we like, we always kind of look for the bonus ones. This one is not, um, but we picked this one up. And obviously those come in very handy. So we found that. Then I just love this. Love the color. I know Mercy loves this color. I mean, look at this cool glass vase. Just look, there's so many different things you could put in here. Obviously a candle, you know, you could put um, marbles, you could put seashells, almost anything. I mean, I, I mean, I can almost read your mind, Mercy. I mean, there's so many things you, then Mercy will probably end up, you know, choosing what to put in there. But we just thought this, you know, nice and simple, just a nice light purplish color. Just love this glass vase. I like the crystal. Obviously flowers, design. of course, and you know, this time of year, flowers, of course. Yeah, isn't that, I know, isn't that, isn't that true? So yeah, we just love this. We found this. Actually, Mercy, you found that. So only, I only have two more items to our taste test. And I'm gonna save, I'm gonna demonstrate one item here. So I'm gonna save that for the end. So now this is an interesting story here. We've been going to Dollar Tree for years, and at least at our Dollar Trees, this is the first time ever, and it was Mercy and her mom that found this, this cooling rack. I mean, can you believe it? So obviously, as everyone knows, you can use this, you know, you're baking cookies, you're putting your cookies on here, you know, you're putting um, just whatever you're baking on here. Or you can just like cool stuff. Cool, just cool anything on here, however, um, we've seen on other channels, um, you could kind of put this up, you know, you can put this up on a wall and kind of use it for crafting. You could hang just whatever you want off of here as kind of a thing for crafting too. So, you know, I'm not quite sure which one we will use it for, but we just thought that was, I mean, what a great find, Merce, a cooling rack, I mean, for $1.25. So we just thought that was really cool. So we found that. Now this will be interesting. So I may need your help with this, Merce. So okay. 
I, in my entire life at least, have never ever had a cable protector. So I don't quite know, I mean, I, I think I kind of know how this works, but I'm gonna open this up and see if I can um, demonstrate this. You know, on here it says fits most charging cables, and then it says keeps your cable from bending and fraying. So let's open this up and see what we have going on here. And I'm just gonna use one of our phone chargers and see how this works. Mercy, maybe I'll need your help. Okay. Well, let's see. So this is cute. So you got kind of the, you know, I love watermelon. So you got a, a nice kind of a watermelon guy there. And a star fruit. Yes. And then let's see how this, so this keeps it from bending and fraying. So very interesting here. I think this is just decoration for show. So it looks like, you know, obviously you'd plug this part, you know, into your main thing and then this would go into your phone or your iPad. So Mercy, do you think, I think you would just, just like... kind of put, you would kind of put, you know, just kind of put more of the end, probably more of the end that yeah. goes on the actual device, correct? Or kind of more like at this part, I feel at like. At this part, I feel yeah. like. I feel like you would do that. So, you know, it kind of opens up, obviously, and then you just kind of put it in there. And then I guess it keeps it from, you know, bending and fraying, which, you know, to make them last longer, that's kind of cool. And so that, like, the wires yeah. don't come out. Let's guys see that one. See, I don't like, I don't know if you just use one at a time to keep it from fraying or if you put both on. I'm not quite certain, but I'll just, just for the purposes of the video, I'll just put both on to just show how they look. But maybe you only use one at a time, but but that's kind of cool. That is actually works out, um, yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool, but just to keep it from bending and fraying. So just a kind of an interesting item to pick up. So we picked that up and Guys, that is it. It is time for the taste test. So that was a really fun haul. There was a lot there. Mercy, you had so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have some uh, interesting taste test for you today. We have two food items and one drink at the end. So I'm gonna put the drink over here um, for one of our, actually our first thing that we're going to taste we are going to use, um, these are not from the Dollar Tree. We got, we're just, these are just our tortilla chips that we got from Walmart. And um, I'm sure you know, people have seen this brand of Santitas. So that's not what we're taste testing. We're not taste testing the chips, but we are taste testing the Muy Fresco Nacho Cheese Dip. So this would be kind of fun. So let's just see here what country, we like to say what country these are made in. And it says here, New Holland, Pennsylvania. So it looks like an American product. The calorie information is as follows. Calories per serving, 45. And the serving size on this is eight is two tablespoons. And this entire thing has eight servings. So there you go. So let's open this up, Mercy, and we'll each try one chip each, no double dipping, of course. We had a lot of fun comments on the double dipping on our last video. That's like thick. Yeah, so it comes out, yeah, so we just, you know, we've never tried this brand before. So, it is, inside here, I'll just show you all, it does look kind of thick. It does look kind of thick, but you know what? I'm not gonna judge it until I try it. So Merce, we will each get a nice big tortilla chip here. Yeah. I'll pick mine out. You pick one out. You pick yours out. And ladies first. Okay. Just dip it in there. Just one dip. You need the whole chip. And I will do the same. Look at that one. Okay. Looks like. I put a pretty decent amount on mine. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. It's like spicy. It has a kick. Mm -hmm. I need a drink. I need a drink. And too. I like spicy. Yeah. Mercy, I will let you give your thoughts first on that. I have some pretty strong thoughts on it. Okay. Uh, 
so I'm not really that big of a nacho cheese person. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, it is very flavorful though. Like it doesn't, it, it doesn't really have like that plasticky kind of uh taste. So that's very nice. It it has, it doesn't even taste like cheese. It tastes like peppers. It kind of does. Like, and, I, and I, you know, I didn't point out it does not say mild. You no. know, it doesn't say hot or medium or anything. It just so maybe they just have one flavor, but maybe a lot of people like mild. This is not mild. No. Continue. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely say this is like a hot kind yeah, of I see I see it leans that way yeah. at least medium it, it medium hot yeah me, like medium hot I'd say uh yeah it does not taste like cheese whatsoever it tastes like peppers interesting um and it has like that peppery kind of taste um I would give that like an 8.3 an 8.3 B that, minus yeah I mean that is a little low since personally I'm not like nope, that big of a nacho cheese crazy, person but, but I mean it's different. It's very mm. different. An 8.3. I am going to go higher than that. You know, Old Dutch is kind of a common brand with this. There's another brand I like, kind of the Walmart brand. Um, I like this one better. This one, for me, it hits me just right because I love jalapenos. I can picture putting some jalapenos in this and adding it to it. You know, and like Mercy said, when we first opened this, it kind of just, it kind of just sits there. It's kind of thick. Uh-huh. Some people may take that as a negative. Not me. I actually kind of like it this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go fairly high on this. I'm going to go 9.2. That actually surprised me. So 9.2. And again, for those of you who may want to try this and find it at Dollar Tree, it is called Muy Fresco. And let me just read the can once again. I mean, it says New Holland, Pennsylvania. Sometimes it'll say, you know, distributed by. I don't see another country listed on here. So I do believe... Um, that this Muy Fresco is from New Holland, Pennsylvania. And again, just for those of you who may want to microwave it, it says do not microwave and can. So put it in a separate thing to microwave. So yeah, so great. So an 8.3 for Merce, 9.2 for me. It is very flavorful for now. It is. I will say that it's very higher quality, yes. I guess. I don't know. So we get the chips off the table and this off the table. And now one more food item and then a drink. All right. So, for those of you who watched our Elvis review, thank you so much. We were at the theater, obviously, three days ago, and we had some delicious movie popcorn. So, this caught Mercy's eye in the Dollar Tree yesterday because she found this, this Sweet Chaos movie theater butter popcorn made with real butter, it says. We have not tried this. Is that correct? You've not tried this no, before? This never. brand? I know I have not. And let me see what, where in the world this is made in. You know, I, the writing is so small. So it looks like our home state of Minnesota, we did not know that going in. So again, Sweet Chaos, Movie Theater Butter Popcorn. The calorie information is 160 per serving and the serving size is one bag. So this bag is 160 calories. We've never tried this before. I'm excited, you know, I'm sure it won't be, you know, I doubt as good as like an actual movie theater, but obviously for what they charge there, this is about $1.25. I have like a little thing and, that you can Oh yeah, commercial, could you open this for us? Yes, thank you so much. I have so take tried... whatever handful you want okay. and I will. I have tried this brand before actually. Yeah. I've never tried this. Sweet chaos, but not the popcorn. Okay. No. All right, so let's let's just try. Yeah, I'm just gonna get like three or four. All right, ready? Yeah, it definitely smells like movie theater. Popcorn. Oh yes. All right, ready? Mhm. Mm hmm. Again, I will let. Mercy, go first. Ladies first. It's thick. It's it's really thick. Um, I've never really. I don't know if like. Interesting. Well, I don't know. It's like thick for some reason. I'm trying to decide whether I like it or not. Like the thickness. I have definitely decided. Well, I will let Mercy go first. Okay. Um, I really like the flavor. It has a very nice buttery flavor to it. It's kind of lightly salted. 
Um, yeah, that's agreed. okay. Agreed. I, f I felt like they could have done a little bit more with the salt, but you know, maybe they were like health conscious yes. or something. I should have mentioned everyone, gluten-free. Yes. So for those of you who need, glu who need gluten-free, this could really work. And non gmo I mean, it's a pretty nice snack, but it's a little bit thicker hmm, than like a typical popcorn. Okay. So I'd probably give this maybe like an 8.7. An 8.7? Yeah. I have to say, and I was just at the movie theater, this is not as good as that. No. It's better than I thought. I'm going to be very close to Mercy here and go an 8.9. I can't quite go A, but I definitely am tempted to finish the rest of the bag. So I must like it. So an 8.9 is a great score. It's a high B plus. Not everything can be 9, nine and above. An 8.9 from me. All right. Not bad. Very nice. Okay, now this is going to be a fun item to close on because I do not know what to expect. We are going to close. Um, and we're going to drink it out of these cups, by the way. We're going to close with this. This is sparkling ice caffeine, strawberry citrus. You get 16 ounces and it has zero sugar. It has zero sugar. Cool can, love the color. And this, let me see, all the information from here. It's got some condensation on it, so it may be hard to read. I just wanna see the country of origin, if I can find it. This is from Preston, Washington. So I believe this is an American product. And it says hydrate, refresh, refuel. The calorie info is five, <laughs> five calories. So this could be a very interesting taste. It's five calories for the entire can. So I have no idea how this is gonna taste. Our scores may vary wildly on this one. Very interesting. So I'm gonna open it here and I'm gonna show you the color of it when we pour it. I don't even know what the color will be. So let me just kind of show you super quick. Um, oh, it's kind of a nice, yeah, kind of a nice, um, kind of a reddish, yeah, it's red, dark pink, red. So, Marissa, let me pour some for you. Yes, and then I kind of want to give a little quick note here. Um, Absolutely. I've had sparkling ice before, like yeah. the regular, like big, like thin bottles. Okay. I've never tried the caffeine version though. I see. All right, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Cheers. both finished anyway again mercy you can go first it's delicious i love it um i've had sparkling ices before i really like them i really like this flavor it's a tad bit fizzier than your typical sparkling ice um but then again that might be because maybe it was like shaken up a little or maybe it's because of the caffeine level i don't know um it tastes amazing though it's very sweet it kind it definitely tastes like strawberries and since it's a strawberry citrus, it kind of reminds me of like a strawberry lemonade, which I really like. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely drink that again. I'd have to give that a 9.2. Wow, a 9.2. Yes. I have a shocking score because these kind of drinks I do not normally like. I am kind of a, a soda pop person. You know, I, I at my age, I should be drinking healthier stuff, to be honest. And I'm drinking Coca-Cola and Pepsi and all the rest of it. That, for zero sugar, tasted better than I thought it was going to. And believe it or not, I am going to go just a tad lower, 9.1. And I honestly thought going in, this would be maybe a 6 in the 6 or 7 range. So 9.1 for me, I thought it was really good. Really, really good. So there you go. And, it's, and then again, it's strawberry citrus. And I'm sure they have other flavors. Um, you know, Mercy found this. I'm sure they have other flavors. Did they have other flavors? Uh, they had yesterday? blue raspberry and blue black raspberry. raspberry. And black raspberry. Those sound delicious too. Wow, not bad. Guys, that's it. That's it for today's video. We had a lot of stuff today. Sorry, the video is a little long, but we just, we had a lot of school supplies. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. Thank you so much for everything all of you have done for this channel. And... I know Mercy was so delighted to meet Chris yesterday. That was so wonderful. Chris, I can't wait. Hopefully I'll meet you again 
Hopefully I'll meet you soon, I mean, for the first time. So guys, thank you so much. Until next time, keep smiling. Keep shopping.